welcome back to our youtube channel please if you are new to this channel please subscribe like and comment and please always come back to watch my videos i do appreciate you know <laughs> today i was watching a video when rocio was flying i think to nairobi to go and meet uh, ayamara and i was just so happy how Gitriba and the rest really escorted her to the airport you know it shows really a spirit of togetherness in them it shows peace and love in them you know that one shows you that we still have a lot of people here in africa who minds about other people it was really so interesting to see how these people move together up the airport to escort Rocio. I'm wondering how the lazy gang are going to see it. Because they are always full of negativity, full of hatred, full of greed, and full of bitterness. But the truth will always remain is that things that are moving in the right direction it's always hard to force them to go to the wrong direction whether you want it or not whether they want to sleep day and night thinking of ways how to bring Mara and the family down but the truth will always remain is that when people keep on hating them the more they do progress the more they keep on achieving the goals that they are yearning to achieve. I would like to take this opportunity to encourage you that the situation you are facing today in your life might not be permanent, might not force your life to remain the way it is. You only need to work more harder. You need only to stay focused and always live to your dreams. Dreams are always valid. So long as you pay attention the energy and the effort towards it. Just like a person of Ayamara who had no hope for the future, but at a certain point, God bless him and he managed to transform his life, the life of his family, the life of his brothers and sisters, and the life of the few individuals who like positivity in Nebuchadnezzar's village. He has not only money to do that, he has also money to change the life of those other people from other countries. He has also able to motivate a lot of us. Me and you, we know this. So we only need to pick a few things that Maro has been in portion to do and to achieve because he has been in portion to stay focused. He has been in portion to move where to create a way there is, where there is no way. You can also do this. Don't lose hope. Let's stay focused and we continue moving forward. You know, when I was growing up, there was a lot of saying that when you grow up in the village, you might not be in position to see changes that is happening in the world. You know, when you're young, people can lie you. People can tell you all those things that might not be possible so but if you stay if you limit your thinking and you take the mentality of those categories of people you might not be in person to transform your life but when you stay focused and moving towards your goals things will always be on your favor just like the way it has happened to Chief Matiko, Nasto Mayuguno, Gitriba. It can still happen to a person also like me. I only need just to stay focused. I need only to try my best each and every day to come out and chase my dreams as I'm always trying to do. You know, in life, you cannot climb a tree or you cannot achieve your dreams in one day and also what it is important to know is that 
whenever you wake up in the morning, you may also need to thank God. Not even may, you have to thank God because a lot of people are not waking up just like you. So we need always to stay focused. And I always, always when I wake up in the morning, I keep on saying if other people can do it, why not me? Why not me? You know, let me tell you something. When I used to be young in the village, I had no hopes of even reaching, for example, a city. Because I had no relative, I had no friend who was at the city. But always I had in my mind that at a certain point I'll have to leave the village and move to the city. Actually, that is what motivated me a lot to work more harder in my studies. And actually, through that, that is how I managed to move to the city. A city where I had no relative, had no friends, as actually in my village, I had no one in the city. But because my determination, my education, it made me to reach the city with no struggle, you know. So, outside of there, we may need to motivate one or two people that there is always light at the end of the day. You only need to try your best. You need to put a lot of energy to achieve your dreams. All the things are possible. If Maro and the rest have ma are making it, we can also make it. Might not be at the same level as Marwa. Might be even greater. But are you focused? That's the question. Are you determined? That's the question. You know? Now, I want to tell you something. When people want to go, especially in Africa, when people want to go to, for example, these other countries, maybe somebody wants to go to Dubai, Asia, those countries, U.S., people always ask themselves, how have they made it there? How are people going to U.S.? When we used to be young, people used to deceive us that when you climb on a tree and jump, that you can <laughs> you can reach U.S. Oh, you get feathers and you put here, you put a gum, that when you climb a tree, then you jump. You can reach U.S. So, a lot of boys could try to reach U.S. by jumping like that. But at the end of the day, they just fall back just within the same area. So one day we are asking ourselves that now, there's a guy who used to lie to people a lot. We are asking ourselves, that if people could jump going to the U.S., do you think this man would still be living here in poverty? Because the stories here in Africa is that there's a lot of money in U.S., in Britain, in those European countries. And it is one of the reasons why Africans are migrating, Africans are dying in those oceans going to those countries, that there's a lot of money. Because actually here in Africa, there's a lot of suffering, there are no jobs, even the little job, you, if you, even if you have to get one, there are like more than 50 people who are willing to do the same job that you are doing. So however much you wake up one day that you want to leave that job, there are 50 people or even more waiting for the same job of yours. So, labor is not a problem. But the jobs 
here in Africa is what is the problem. So how can somebody go to the U.S. without a visa? Those are the questions poor Africans always ask themselves. How, do, how can somebody go to the U.S. without a visa? To my understanding, there is no shortcut for it. You need really to work more harder. You need to get your own money, your own capital. To reach that country that somebody wishes to reach. There is no shortcut in life. That is why people like Max Swan and Masubu, they are so bitter, they are so jealous of people who are progressing. Because these people laid a very, very firm foundation. People like Gitreba, who have got very firm foundation from Ayamaro, it is very hard to fight them. People like Nastu, people like Mayugun, it is very, very hard to fight them. Because they got the real foundation, one of the best foundation. You cannot forge success. Success comes with hard work. Success, success, success is not all about spoiling somebody's name to achieve what you want. You need to work for it. You know, you need to endure each and every day so that you really move forward in the right direction. Let's stop being greedy for our people. Let's stop being jealous of our friends of Africa. Why is it that here in Africa, when somebody is progressing, a lot of hatred is turned against him? Why? Why is it that we hate seeing progress? People who are trying to show us the right direction, People are fighting them day and night. Let me give you an example of Ayamaro. A lot of people that Maro have employed keeps on turning against him. But it's just because the fear of losing the jobs. Because after them losing those jobs, they don't have any other job. There are no jobs. There is nothing else. But the problem is, we are not learning to fish by ourselves. Marwa is trying to teach us how to fish. He has taught Nasto how to fish. He has taught Mayuguno how to fish. He has taught Get to river, how to fish, and the rest of those YouTubers in the village. He has told Jamaican uncle how to fish. But we are not yet appreciating the effort of this young man. He has gone ahead by showing us that all the things are possible by constructing a villa in the village. But we are still a lot of People are still too rigid, very rigid, very rigid. They are not yet accepting that Mara has given them the best of the best. The best. What do they really want Mara to do? What is that thing they want Mara to do? You know, they say, you can take a cow to drink water in the swamp, but you may not be in position to force it to drink water. So however much Mara is trying his best, you cannot force a human being to succeed. If a person is meant to be poor, whether he want to do what or what, it can never change. If a person is not willing to change his behavior, you cannot put understanding 
in his head. If somebody is not willing to change the negative mentality, negativity in his life, there is nothing you can change from such a person. So in life, go with those who can go with you. I think that is the best idea. Go with those ones who can go with you. And leave those ones who cannot go with you. Because you can never transform a whole village. There are those ones who will always be behind. And by the time they wake up, it has been so too late. So let's just try what we can. Let's just try to be positive. And for those who can move forward, let's move forward with Ayamaro. This guy has tried his best. All of us have seen, and all of us, I think, we are grateful for it. Let's stay positive, and let's keep on supporting each other. And please, if you have not yet subscribed to this beautiful YouTube channel, please subscribe, like the video. It will help to promote the video. To other people how do you go to usa without a visa is it those kind of people search for information like that need to change their mentality because you can never go to usa when you have not worked hard you need to work hard in your life you need to work hard for the betterment of your community I would like to take this opportunity by first by thanking my people from US, from UK, Janet Irish, I hope you are well, from Canada, from Poland, from South Africa, from Cameroon, Prince, I don't know where Prince have gone these days, from Kenya, from Uganda, from Burundi. So from Somalia, not forgetting my people from India, Nepal, not forgetting my people from Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, you are most welcome. And please thank you so much for always supporting the growth of this channel. It's because of you that I, I'm always here keeping posting. Please thank you so much for your great support for the growth of this channel. I don't really take you for granted. May God bless you. See you again in tomorrow's video. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Blessings. Blessings.